eye. It's called salvia, and it causes hallucinations. It is also legal in many places, but there is a growing movement now to have it banned. But supporters say it could treat everything from depression to cancer. Here's Nightline's Terry Moran. If you go to YouTube and type in the word salvia, you enter an underground world. Salvia, do buy salvia 10x. Take a look. What you're seeing here is a new drug experience more and more young people are trying and sharing on the internet. It's called Salvia Divinorum, Magic Mint, Sally D. It packs a powerful hallucinogenic punch unlike anything else out there. And it's perfectly legal almost everywhere in this country. But at higher doses, it produces a, a visionary state um, where you basically go into a waking dream. Um, it's very similar to dreaming, like sleep dreaming. Um, except that you're awake. Yeah, okay. All these videos are posted by people who claim they show people who are smoking salvia. They take a hit, and within a minute seem to get slammed by an intense psychological experience. They go limp, they lose coordination, they start to laugh uncontrollably, or call out incoherently, or cry, or just sit there, stunned. After just a few minutes, the trip ends. The kids are back. I like to think that the trip's over now. The experience is usually not pleasurable. It's usually kind of frightening and disorientating. And it's scary. It can be scary. I mean, some people are able to handle it better than others. That's Daniel Siebert, one of the world's pharmacological experts on salvia. He's researched it, used it, and sold it over the Internet for years. And is this something that, that you would sell, then? Yeah. I'm going in the room. But is it safe? I think that he had smoked salvia to such an extent that something happened in his brain. I think he just snapped. Kathleen Chivester's 17-year-old son, Brett, killed himself in January 2006, zipping himself into a tent in his dad's garage in Wilmington, Delaware, lighting a charcoal grill and asphyxiating himself. According to his parents, he'd been smoking salvia on and off for months. Brett's parents are now speaking out, campaigning to have salvia outlawed, as it's been in Delaware. Brett's law, it's called. <coughs> and so when the Chittisters see the YouTube videos, they want to warn others. A parents, a lot of them are oblivious to what's going on. I mean, I didn't even know. You know, as close as I was with Brett, I didn't know what he was doing. Um, but, you know, when I watch them, I think, you know, wow, people really should be scared. I don't think anyone would decide to commit suicide as a result of a salvia experience, but it's just so inconceivable to me. Um, you know, I assume he must have had some other issues in his life. Daniel yeah. Siebert argues that salvia, when used properly by responsible adults, can help deepen awareness. Dr. John Mendelson studies drugs and drug abuse and is researching salvia. Now, right now, this is uh, perfectly legal for me to have this. I could walk out with yes, this. Yes, exactly. It's totally legal. Totally it's, legal. it's unscheduled, uncontrolled. Right now, at, at this week. Right. Next week, you may be, you know, you could maybe go to jail for 30 or 40 years for holding that much of right. the drug. Right. <laughs> maybe more. What Mendelssohn and other researchers have found is that salvia divinorum is a rare substance that acts on a very specific part of the human brain, the kappa opiate receptor. That means drug companies could develop medicines to treat some mental illnesses, or cocaine addiction, or even more. And there may be some derivatives that can be made that, that would actually be active against uh, uh, cancer. And uh, HIV, uh, there's, there's some tantalizing evidence that kappa agonists uh, actually prevent two HIV-infected cells from fusing with each other. Uh, and this, is, this, is, this is big stuff. At the present time, there, there are a lot of therapeutic targets uh, that have many people excited. And it's worth exploring. I, there's no question it's worth exploring. I, I think that, you know, you're seeing uh, a lot of investment in that in the, in, the, in the basic science world. But all that investment, all that promise, could vanish overnight if the federal government criminalizes the sale or possession of salvia, as the Drug Enforcement Agency is considering doing right now. I think it would scare away uh, development uh, and, and could, it, could inhibit it. But what about all those young people tripping on salvia? Should the government try to stop this? If it has benefits to people, then we're, you know, we're all for that. I mean, definitely, but to just have it used randomly here and there by kids of all, you know, Brett was 
16 when he purchased it, you know, and had no idea the ramifications. I mean, there was no warnings, there was no nothing. And to have it out there and readily available to kids of that age or even younger, 